Hello everybody and welcome to a Let's Play video. I am Claude and today we will be playing the Gizzle Lap and the Strange Red Tree. This is an Atari 2600 homebrew made by Mountain King. I am playing the Final Edition, which uh, is not released yet, but you can download Final A on the link that I will provide in the description below. I am playing it on the Stella on the PC, and I will also provide a link for Stella. Now this game is actually going to be released for the Atari 2600 on a cartridge, hopefully um, sometime in October. So if you guys like uh, good uh, games, you can either play it on the computer, or if you're in the, um, playing it on the actual uh, system, then you can buy the game in October. And uh, If it becomes available to purchase online, I will also come back and add in the description on where you can buy it. So here is the story about the Gizzle Lap and the Strange Red Tree. And uh, I'm sorry if I say any of this stuff wrong, but some of it is its uh, kind of hard for me to figure out. So deep in the Dithanian forest, in the clearing where the Zazzle flies play, a strange red tree took root overnight. It made an unsettling hum and gave off a noxious odor, poisoning many of the flies. Cammy, the strongest of his brood, sought help from the defender of the woods, a small bouncing creature known as the Gizzlewap. He would know what to do. The Gizzlewap solution was simple, remove the strange red tree. But there was another problem. Coinciding with the appearance of the red tree came the mere mica, a race of mindless insects that feed upon the inhabitants of the forest. Even worse, worse, the mere mica never come alone. They serve the Invicta. Unlike the mere mica, the Invicta are cunning and tenacious. They will not be satisfied until they control the entire forest or see its destruction. The tree is most certainly their machination. The plan to remove the tree and defeat the Invicta was not simple. The only creature strong enough to pull the tree out of the ground are the Pegsy. The Gizzlewap would attract the Pegsy to the clearing with cloud fruit and convince them to remove the red tree. Once the tree had been removed, the Invicta's magic will have been weakened and the Invicta's lair will be revealed. The final step would then be to confront the Invicta. So you play, um, you have your control. You control Gizzlewap and Cammy the Z Zazzlefly. You travel through the Jethanian woods, collecting cloud fruit, returning occasionally to the Zazzo clearing to drop off your fruit. Along the way, you will need to fight off the swarms of Miramica by using Cammy to fight and defend against their attacks. Once you collect enough fruit, you will see the Pegsy pull the tree from the ground. Now you will need to seek out the Invicta. Look for anything out of place, a tree branch, rock, or stone. Once you find it, the Invicta's lair will be revealed. Enter to confront him. There are eight Invictas. Each one gets progressively harder. There are two kinds of Invictas, a first stage insect, typically called the Invicta Minor, and a second stage known as a Vic Invicta Prime. So joystick left and right, move the Gizzlewap. Up jumps, down eats fruit to heal. Press and hold fire to use the Zazzlefly as a shield. Fire plus up attacks up, fire plus down attacks down. You start uh, in left switch B, which is four fruit, and you're immune to the red tree's poison, but you can switch to A, which is two fruit, and the red tree poison slowly hurts, gives a whap over time. So, uh, a few of the things that we're going to see, the enemies, you have the Miramica ant, the Miramica crab, the corrupted thieves be the Invicta Minor, and last is the Invicta Majors, but I don't believe that we'll probably, we probably won't see them. I'm not that good. I will do my best. Um, the friendlies are the Gizzlewap, the Zazzlefly, the Pegsy, and the Humming Duck. Uh, then you have the Strange Red Tree and Cloud Fruit, and so that's it. We're going to get started here. I'm going to play in easy mode, even though when I normally play, I play in hard. But I kind of want to get farther um, in the game so that you guys can see. This is a humming duck. So uh, he made me faster. And uh, as I collect the cloud fruit. Now for this, this is the, the ant. And I try to jump at the right time and then hit them. And then you see their poison lands on the ground there. And that actually hurts you. So um, yeah, I don't want to do that. Here is the corrupted... These, these be, is that right? And I'm just going to follow him. Oops, I hit the wrong button. And, uh, well, I was going to follow him and try to launch up into the air at him. So that's kind of how I deal with them. There you go. And now his poison is up in the tree there. So 
Um, the first stage here is is pretty easy. You kind of get the hang of your controls and uh, controlling your. Here's another duck, so I'm gonna or humming. Yeah. Okay. So now we need one more fruit, I think. And uh, so I'm gonna take this fruit right here back to the tree. And now I want to get as many fruits as I can because when you eat the fruits, it gives you back health. And as soon as I go back and press up now with any fruit in my pocket, then I'm going to be going off to fight the Invicta. And I want to do that with as much fruit in my pocket as possible. So that would be four. And now I have four. So I'm just going to try not to touch any of those. And now the strange red tree has been pulled from the ground. And we're going to look for a way to get... Here it is. Aha! Now we can get down here. Now, later on, this guy is going to get much, much harder, and this is where I always die, is on one of these. But for now, I'm going to try to hop on him when he is doing this, and then when he is... You see, I'm only, I only have one fruit left to eat, but that's okay, because you don't get to take any fruit with you to the next level. But, uh, yeah, I, I gotta get my timing down right here, because he's going to kill me if I don't if I don't get my timing down. I don't know why I'm... There we go. And then when he's up top, then you want to try to use Cammy to, to fly up at him. There we go. We're going to the next level. So, I shouldn't have had that much trouble with him, but I, I guess I did. So, nothing I can do. When you get there, to that point on the next level, you actually have to hit the fire button to completely come into the level. So, it kind of leaves it, like, paused if, you, if you're not quite ready. Now, level two, as you can see, we have trouble of brewing because... We have them everywhere, and I couldn't really move much because I didn't want to step in the uh, in the uh, poisonous venom there on the ground that they leave me like that. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Uh, this crab, he he makes me crabby. Really, he does. I have so much trouble with him, and I don't I don't know why. I sh you know I shouldn't. I try to like lure him down to the bottom, and then yeah, like loop around on top of him because. I really can't figure out how to use Cammy to to get those crabs. They're 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 pretty tough. Yeah, for me anyways. I mean I'm sure that okay, so now we have two there. So we wanna get one more and then go back and deliver it. And then we wanna fill our pockets again with as much you know, maximum fruit, which in this level see in hard at two that would be it. You'd be off to fight the Invicta minor, but um when you play an easy you can you can stock up and go fight the Invicta minor with uh, or major with with four. So now we got four, and we are off to find something out of place. Oh, it's here again. There we go. And here it is, the Invicta minor without company. And this is the last time when we see him. The next time, he's going to have a Miramica ant with him. So hopefully we see him the next time because I'd like to get um, as far as I can. Later on, when you go into screens to collect the cloud fruit, there's there's going to be up to three, um, three evil evil objects out there. Uh, sometimes you get a crab and an ant and uh, corrupted these bee or whatever it is. I should look, but kind of in battle. I don't really want to look at my piece of paper right now, but uh, it is the corrupted these bee. There we go. So again, here, I'm like inside the ground, it's in pause mode, so I was able to look, and now I will just hit fire, and out of the ground I go. Off to, aha, a crab and a corrupted these bee. This is not my favorite. I think I'm going to try to get, yeah, there we go, try to get the, uh, the these bee first, and now I'll go after that crab, because I have so much trouble with crabs. I used to think, uh, I hardly ever saw this combination, I used to think that the, the Thiesby and the Ant together were just horrible, but now I know that the that the Thiesby and the Crab, are, and then you get later on and, and it's all three, and that's that becomes really tough, because you got this Ant biting you in the feet, you got this Crab flying over top of your head, and uh, then you got this thing bombing you, and coming down and taking out your knees, which I guess I don't have knees, but y you know what I mean. I don't want that. This guy is going to kill me. I, I hate those crabs. See what I mean? I really should be able to, I really should be able to do that. I don't know why, why I couldn't do that, but all right, we'll start again, and you guys can go ahead and, and watch me go through here again, and 
Ah, I can't believe that. That that crab should have not. I I don't understand. Whatever. Whatever. We'll get back there. We'll get. It's fine. It's fine. No problem. No problem. That's what the game's all about. Trying to trying to get through here. There we go. Good job, Cammy. Ant here. Yep. There we go. Ant's gone. We have four. So my phone going off. I guess I forgot to mute that. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I just need to fill my pockets now, and then we'll go fight the uh, Invicta for the first time. That ought to work. And, uh, oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. That's not bad. Oh, if I uh, get hurt too much, I'll have to use one of these cloud fruits. And I don't want to have to do that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go off to fight Invicta Miner the first. Here's the, here's the thing that's it's wrong. Alright, now let me try to get through here. There we go. Ate one of my, two of my fruits. There we go. Come on. Come on, there we go. Yeah, getting a couple good hits in there. Sometimes I seem to, you know, because uh, I, I fly, I try to fly Cammy up when he's coming down, and then I jump and try to throw Cammy down when he's below me. There we go. Off to find some more fruit and fight this crab. So I'm eating my fruit now because of a crab. And now humming duck, so I'm really fast. Let's see what this is. An ant. I've got two cloud fruit. I need... There we go. Let's run these there. Oh, I need one more. Offer that to him. Now i got to get four. So here's two, but here we've got the... I'm probably going to have to use one of these cloud fruits, at least one. Let me try to... Uh, oh, I got the ant. That was pretty awesome. Yep, I, I had to use one cloud fruit. Let me see if I can... Yeah, there we go. I got out of there with one. Let me see. Maybe I can get out of here with two. Oh, I just missed. There we go. Out of there with two. Humming duck gives me three. Alright, that was a good hit time it right here. Maybe I can... There we go. Get out of there. And we're going off to fight the Invicta Miner. I believe this is the second time now. And uh, here's the here's the thing that's off. I kind of, you know, think it's ruining it for you guys because I had a lot of fun trying to figure out um, what things were, were off and how to find all of these layers. So I kind of hope that in this Let's Play it doesn't show you all of them because I, I feel like it's a spoiler. And I actually don't know if there are any Easter eggs in this game, um, but, yeah, here we go. And out of the ground I come, and I believe this is the third level, so we could see two things at once. Uh, I've already had to use the one fruit that I've collected. God, I wish you would just... So annoying. You're annoying, Mr. Crab, you're annoying. There we go, a duck and a fruit. The duck gave me full health. And I used the fruit there on accident. Come on. There we go. Oh, I can try to get around on that crab. There we go. That wasn't bad. Oh, I got lucky there. Cammy did a good job of defense. There goes the uh, ant and the thieves bee. Got to get one more for it. Mm, come on. I had to eat that fruit. I got out of there after that, though, pretty easy. Here's a crab and a Thiesby. I got that crab right away. Can I get a good hit in on the Thiesby? Come on! Come on! Now he's too low. Now i got to wait for him to come under me. One more try under me. All right, go back up. Not bad. We got one. Now, I don't want to go forward anymore because I think I dropped off all the cloud fruit, so I want to turn around after this screen because I don't want to go there unless I have four. Um... That's not really a, a, a thing when you're playing on hard, but then again, I don't get all this way when I'm playing on hard. Come on. Yeah, there we go. It slowly comes down most of the time, so I kind of waited. Oh, I only have three. That's bad, because he's going to have a um, a Miramica ant with him. So, okay, here's this one. So, yeah, now we got to worry about all of these guys. Let's see if we can get through here. There we are. I got a lot of hits in really quick that time. That was pretty good. Uh, and I think on this stage you can see one, two, or, yep, I was right, or three. Oh, I can't jump there. Let me try to hit him. 
Now he's too low. I gotta wait for him to come around under me. Under me. One more try. All right, get him in the air. Come on. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, now he's low. He's low. He can't hit this one spot though. One more try. Nope, that was it. Try to hit him up top now. He doesn't seem to be making any passes with his bombs right where I was going. So, kind of. Oh, this is not good. I gotta eat that last cloud fruit. Not much life left. Try to get. I can't. Every time I go to get on one, the other one's in my way. All right, not much life left though. Be helpful if we make it out of this screen. If the next screen is a humming duck, because um, my life is kind of low here. I'm running low. I'm running low. We're deep in the Jethanian. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but we're deep in the Jethanian forest. And uh, yeah, I uh, I was able to get a fruit there and eat it, so I got quite a bit of life. That one's too high. I'm not gonna wait for it to come down. Uh. I don't want to eat that fruit yet. I got both of those pretty quick, actually. That was a pretty nice move. Dropped off that fruit, but now I don't, you know, now I only have this one. Try to get this crab. Now I ate that one, so. There we go, we got the crab. Wait for the bomber to come around, the corrupted thieves bee. Wait for that to come around, and come on, come on. Just a little lower fruit, come on. Ah, oh, this is horrible. The fruit's just out of reach. I just want my fruit. All right. A lot of humming ducks there. They gave me full health and a fruit. Come on. Uh, drop that. I don't know why it's not. Is it because I'm not pushing up? Yeah, I wasn't pushing up. Okay. So now we got to get four without coming back around so that we can go off and fight the Invicta. I believe this will still be the minor. I can't remember what it was when it switches to the to the major, but I've never seen the major. I'm, I've not gone that far. I've played this game quite a bit, but I mean, not not an incredible amount of playtime in it, but enough to know that it was a good enough game to do a Let's Play on, and uh, I don't actually own an Atari 2600, but it would be a cool one to actually own the cartridge on, and, uh, you know, be able to show people that, that they're still made and stuff, so pretty special. All right, that's four fruit, and we're off to fight the Invicta. I don't know. The Invicta, I lost count. This Let's Play has been going on for a while now. Yeah, okay, it's just one ant. Um, I've already had to eat two fruit, which isn't a good sign, but I'm getting quite a few hits in here. Let me keep trying to get my hits in. Oh, he got me again. I'm going to have to eat that last fruit. Oh, now they're, they're tagging me. Oh, there we go. We made it! I don't, I don't even know. Score 9,820. That's... I, I know that. That's what I do know. I, I've never been this far. This is a first. That thing was blue. Why was that fruit blue? Is things different? It looks like some things are different. This is crazy. Alright, well, we're gonna... We're gonna do our best here to get through this and get on to the next Invicta, because you never know, it might be the Major. It might be the grand reveal of the Invicta Major. Ooh, that was a good move, Cammy. I didn't do that. That was all Cammy. My hat's off to Cammy for keeping me alive here. Uh, let me see if I can get get around this. This this is in my way. It's like right in where I want to be. Almost dead here. Let's see, I'm gonna have to eat that fruit. So I haven't. I'm not gonna be able to bring any fruit back. Pegsy is not going to be happy with me. Pegsy's going to be like, dude, I am not pulling this tree out of the ground if you can't bring me some fruit. I, I ain't even going to bring you nothing because I'm going to be dead. Oh my goodness. Come on. This is ridiculous. There we go. There's one. But one more hit and I am gone. Game over. Final score, 10,360 again. I am Claude. This has been a Let's Play video of the Gizzlewap and the Strange Red Tree, a game made by Mountain Man, played on Stella on the PC. I will leave a link below in the description where you can download this game and download Stella. And in October, hopefully the game will come up for release, and anybody who wants to buy it for their actual Atari 2600 will be able to. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!